If we use our calculator to find the interest for this money, and we use years for the periods, we can find the effective annual interest rate, or the EAR, pretty easily. Remember, the reason it's not the nominal annual rate is because interest is being compounded more than once a year. So if interest was being compounded only once a year, then the nominal annual and the effective annual rates would be the same. So there are 20 years between year 0 and year 20. So since our periods are in years, we enter in 20 for n, the number of periods. We deposit $5,000 in year 0, the present. So we enter in a negative $5,000 for the present value. Since we're putting money in to an account, it's a cash outflow. So we enter it this as a negative value. We expect the account to be worth $21,526.65 in year 20. So we enter this in for the future value. We can now solve for the effective annual interest rate, and we see that it's 7.5722673%. To find the nominal annual interest rate, we need to solve for the periodic, in this case, daily interest rate. So we have to first solve down to the period at which the interest is being compounded. So in this case, interest is compounded every day. So first, we need to find what that interest rate is on the day. So the formula for the periodic interest rate is equal to 1 plus the effective annual interest rate raised to 1 over t, where t is the amount of periods there are in a year. So it, again, it depends on the definition of periods. In our case, a period is a day. So the question tells us there's 365 days in this year. So we just need to plug in our effective annual interest rate and plug in 365 for t. So we add 1 to the effective annual interest rate Again, when we're using this formula, we have to put the interest rate in as a decimal as opposed to a percentage. So we get 1.0757 raised to the 1 over 365. And we find that our periodic interest rate is 0 0.0002. And again, that's a decimal, so our nominal rate is 0.02%. And notice again that this is our nominal and our effective daily rate. You can talk about an effective rate at any period of time, length of time, it's just going to be the same as your nominal rate once you get down to the periods when the periods are the same amount of time that your interest is being compounded. So again, this question tells us our interest is compounded every day. So we know when we find the rate that corresponds to a daily rate, it's going to both be the nominal daily rate and the effective daily rate. To find the nominal annual rate, multiply the nominal daily rate by 365 days a year. So again, the nominal, we just add up the periodic rate over the course of the entire year. We're not talking about compound interest here. That's what's the difference between the nominal and the effective rate. So we can just multiply this 0.02% by the 365 days there are in a year, and we see that the nominal or stated annual rate is 7.3%.